Hey there! Today I'm sharing a tutorial about the Cricut Maker's knife blade and how to use it to cut wood. So the first thing you need to do if you've never used your knife blade before is calibrate it and your Cricut will actually make you calibrate the knife blade if it senses that you've never used it before and that's what I'm showing you uh, right here on my machine. So to calibrate the blade, your Cricut cuts a series of seven lines here and then it asks you to tell it which group of lines overlaps the most. After you've calibrated the blade, um, your Cricut will give you a couple more reminders of things you need to do, including what I'm doing right here, moving all of the star wheels all the way to the right so it doesn't interfere um, with the thicker material that you're cutting. All right, so I'm ready to load up my project. You can see I've got my painter's tape here to help keep my mat um, and wood stable while everything's cutting. And when you first start cutting, your maker will give you an estimation of how many passes that the machine needs to take. So since this isn't thin and easy to cut like vinyl and paper, um, the Cricut actually takes several passes to cut all the way through the wood. And this one estimated about 14 passes and it gives you updates as it's cutting the piece and working along um, cutting it out. And I think this one ended up taking about 20 minutes from start to finish. So you can just see a little of the cut process here and I'm going to speed it up for you because this was a long cut and um, you don't need to sit through all of it. When your cut finishes, you don't want to unload the mat right away because your maker is going to prompt you in design space to see if you need to do any more passes or if it's successfully cut all the way through and looks good. So to check mine while it was still loaded in the machine, I just took one of my weeding tools and I picked at the little A to see if it popped up and I guess that the rest would be fine since the A was fine. So here's my final piece. Um, when I took it over to the trash to shake out all of the little specks of wood, the negative space on the A and the O and the second A um, fell out into the trash can really easily. So I very easily peeled it um, off of the mat. And uh, one thing to keep in mind with this is it's very, very fragile. So peel it off very easily. Um, and this is even before any sanding. So you can see it did a really good job cutting. All right, so that's about it. If you guys have any other questions, um, you can check out the post on my blog with lots of other details about this. Um, I also share free cut files every Friday that you might be interested in downloading. I hope to see you over there. All right, see you later.